Hey guys, it's me Kai and welcome back to another wig styling tutorial. I was going through my collection thinking what kind of wig can I style and I saw this one. You might recognize this hair from when I did these kind of short crisp finger waves for the, a flapper inspired look. You can tell it's kind of shaken up but that's totally my fault. I kind of stored it carelessly plus I feel like I didn't really hairspray it enough when I first did the style. So I was thinking I could restyle it again on camera. Normally if I'm restyling something I might wash it, straighten it, put it back up in curlers but this hair, you can see the curls are already so tight because I didn't really tease it out that much when I first did this style. Plus, it's really soft because of me not using enough hairspray on it. Since it's so short, it doesn't really get that many knots and tangles in it, so it's almost kind of like I just took this down from the curlers yesterday. So it has a lot of potential to be restyled, and we're gonna see what we can do with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, by the way, I already blocked it down. I always get questions on what this is. It's just a piece of ribbon to kind of keep it sturdy to the base. And I'm just gonna section this hair off and I'm also gonna keep the same part that I had in it last time because I like the side part. And we're gonna tease this hair up, which we didn't do last time. So starting off with this front section, I'm taking out a small section of hair, about that big. And then I'm gonna backcomb the roots. When teasing for volume, you only really wanna backcomb the roots just like this so we can still retain all the length of that hair while giving it lift at the same time. And a good method to decide whether I've teased a section enough is if it stands up on its own. Like you can see this just falls flat down. And if I tease it, you can see it has lift just like that and doesn't fall down. I'm gonna do it over here too. Okay, I took down that section and then I'm gonna section again off all the hair except for about an inch from the hairline. So that all that's out of my way. This hair is so short and so curly that the hair is kind of just everywhere. So it's really important to kind of try to stay organized by using lots of clips and pins to kind of know where you're going and know where, where you're about to go. So again, taking a section along the hairline and then I'm just back coming at the roots like that. And I, while I'm doing that, I'm putting a lot of pressure on pulling this hair up so that all the hair isn't forced down just like that. I want to retain all that length. Just like that. Okay, so this is just the hair along the hairline. All teased up, looks sort of gross. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing, going all the way to the back of the hair. You wanna tease up all the hair, that way it's big from all angles. You don't want to just tease the hairline. I know sometimes it's easy to be lazy and think, Oh, all the people are gonna see is just the front. I've definitely fell to that mentality, but it's good to have big hair that's going all the way around. Try to take smaller sections, I mean, within reason. I mean, for example, I could take a section like this and tease it, but if I split it in half, I'm gonna get a stronger and more voluminous tease. Another tip you can do is while teasing, you can take a bit of hairspray. This one has got to be glued blasting freezing spray. Is that what it's called? You can spray a little bit of that while you're teasing and then it'll help stand up more. But for a wig that's as short as this, the hair is not that heavy, so there's not even that much resistance in the first place for it to want to fall down. So I wouldn't really say hairspray is that necessary for a short haired wig like this. Obviously, while hairspray is an important step, I kind of feel like it's better to not have to rely on the hairspray to do all the work. It's better to do the teasing and create that cloud of hair to give yourself more volume. You know how monkeys like pick through each other's fur looking for like bugs and stuff to eat? That's kind of how I feel looking to see if I missed any spots. Why am I on my toes? Let me lower this again. Now what I'm gonna do is brush it out, but I really don't want to lose all of this volume. I really want it to stay as big as it is. So I'm gonna brush it out really softly. Um, so starting at this part, 
brushing it that way and then this way. And when you brush it softly, basically all you're trying to do is just get at the surface and not touch the cloud of teasing that's underneath. So you can see the hair is almost just magically transforming into this beautiful Pantene commercial hair. And the reason why is because we only tease at the roots. So most of the strand of hair still looks beautiful and normal. So that's what we're exposing and bringing to the surface while all the teased roots are in the body of the hair. Okay, so I'm kind of brushing this down, but I'm realizing that from the front, it looks kind of flat now at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use maybe a little bit of hairspray and then kind of push it up zhuzh it up like that and that's how it's going to look really full from the front angle just rearranging it with my fingers if i go at it with a brush some more it's going to kind of ruin what we just sprayed in place so once you kind of put in hairspray that's when you really want to be gentle with a brush again with the front i really want it to stand up and give that nice swoopy bang so i'm gonna Keep it up with hairspray, and then brush it back. With my fingers, all of this is teasing and just a cloud of hair. What I really have control over is how the tips are gonna sit. And I want them to kind of swoop down like that. That's pretty, isn't it? I can spread out this hair like that. On this side of the part, I also want it to kind of stick out, so Spraying that with a bit of hairspray. And then kind of guiding the ends with my hands. It's really a big balancing act of using the hairspray to make it nice and sturdy, but also using your hands to kind of put it into place and then also using the brush to make it smooth. So just alternate between the three, but be a little bit wary of using hairspray because once you kind of use too much, it's hard to go back. So I just go in with little spritzes of it here and there, and then adjust it with my hands as I go. To get this kind of swoopy bang, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the hair right here where I want it to bend, and then I'm just gonna brush down the top half. It's a really good idea to kind of hold the hair to get a kind of anchor when you're brushing, that way you're not moving the entire head of hair and you're just brushing out the section that you want to brush. So brushing that part down. Seal it in with a little bit of hairspray and then the end of that, I want to go back out that way. So again, holding right there to get that anchor. All right, I'm really liking the way this looks. So now to seal it in and really lock it in place, there's a method that's stronger than hairspray. I actually showed you guys in a past video. It's hairspray and a blow dryer. Just using the blow dryer in low heat while also hitting the wig with hairspray. I don't know the physics behind it, it just works wonders. All right guys, this is a finished wig. I say this all the time in all my videos, but I'm always so surprised when I style a wig and it doesn't turn out super shitty. It was a really, really easy style to do actually. I didn't have to use many clips or pins or like geometric configurations. It's all just about using the hairspray and the blow dryer to make the hair go the way you want it to. And then teasing it really nice and full so that it has lots of body and it will kind of shift to the way you place it. I don't know if it's because I have a lot more experience now or if it's because this wig is so short that it was so easy to style. I think maybe it's a little bit of both, but if you're having trouble styling longer wigs, I really recommend you try to practice more on a shorter wig. It's a lot faster to tease and it's a lot kind of more intuitive to style and mold with your fingers. Longer hair wigs can be harder because they're more heavy and it kind of pulls the hair down. While shorter wigs, it's very easy to get lots of volume and height out of them. This is totally not sponsored by the way, but I'm really surprised by how well this hairspray works. I picked it up because I saw it in a couple of other wig style tutorials for drag queen wigs and I decided to see what the fuss was about when I ran out of my other hairspray and I actually really liked it. I didn't have to use that much of this. This is from Got To Be Glued. I hate the name, but it works really well. Anyway, I hope you guys 
guys learned something cool from this video. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments. I always try to get back to them. Let me know what other hairstyles you want to see me try out. I'm always open to new ideas. Some of them I try and then I fail and I don't want to do a tutorial because I only want to do a tutorial if it ends up looking good. Just give it some time and I'll get better at it with practice. I kind of feel like every time I style a wig, it gets better and better. So it really is all about experience and not everything I can just show you through a camera. You have to have some sort of practice. When I first started wearing wigs, I was too afraid to even brush through it. I was like, oh my god, it's gonna pull out the fibers, it's gonna stretch the hairs, it's gonna take out the fact you curl and never look the same again, which to some extent is true, but you're never gonna have practice if you don't keep on trying to style your wigs and then just start over and then do it again. I really appreciate seeing your guys' recreations of my videos and hearing your thoughts, so be sure to leave them in the comments and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!